Life is founded on astonishing complexity. Inside a human cell, biology seems to border on the incredible. Knowing how the parts fit together helps doctors and drug makers save lives. Yet pictures of such infinitesimal events elude our microscopes. But Dame Cowell Robinson sees a different way to behold this delicate masterpiece of natural engineering. Vaporize it. I had a very inexpensive car, which was always breaking down, so I was always trying to fix it. And in those days, you could take off the top of the engine and fiddle around and try to tune it and try to make it better. In the south of England in the 1960s, Robinson leaves behind a life of academics, which heads her off at every turn. She chooses to leave school at just 16 years old, but takes a lab technician job at Pfizer, where she proves a natural talent with a novel chemical analysis machine called a mass spectrometer. She returns to school at night and on weekends, earning her undergraduate degrees, then her doctorate from Cambridge in record time. Next, she opts to step back for eight years to raise her three children. But in 1991, the mass spectrometer came calling again. I took my children to the library as I often did, and I happened to see an advert for a mass spectrometrist. I used to be that person, and it was at Oxford, and I thought, well, I'll have a go. In a very loose sense, mass spectrometry is for chemists what pyrotechnics are for people who like entertaining explosions, which, let's admit it, is practically everyone. Chemists load these machines with material samples, blast them with energy, and marvel at the glittering vaporized aftermath, which can reveal important information about the molecular components. It's sort of almost like the hairs on the back of your neck are tingling and you're so excited and just want to dance. A childhood exploring the outdoors had made Robinson fascinated with biology. Now she wanted to see the complexities of life unfold on the most fundamental levels, to watch the components working together. At one time, doing this with mass spectrometry was a little like rigging this 1992 Ford Escort with explosives to learn about the inside of its engine. There had been progress since, but Robinson was about to change everything. There's been articles written saying, you know, Robinson attempts to do this, it's not a good idea, etc., etc. I've always just thought, right, well, I'm going to show you this is going to work. I find that quite motivating. Robinson learned how to control the vaporizing action of the mass spectrometer, developing groundbreaking techniques that can remove the machinery of the cell intact, preserving the function of its components. Her work revealed complexities that had been impossible to see giving medical researchers profound insight into processes that cause disease. She's pioneered methods that uncover how drugs bind to the surfaces of cells, which could lead to new advanced pharmaceuticals. All the while, Robinson, who left academics twice, became the first female professor of chemistry at the University of Cambridge. And in 2013, a royal recognition of her work made Robinson a dame commander of the Order of the British Empire. I love what I do. I find it engrossing, captivating. I still find it fascinating, you know, years later, <laughs> since my first spectra. I look at the spectra that my students get and I'm just, oh, that's so beautiful. You know, I think there's a beauty in it that you know, only a few people see, but, you know, I still think it's there. <laughs>